In this 21st century, people are all the rage about solar-powered water pumps. But we tend easily to forget that for more than a hundred years, windmills like these have been supplying so much needed water to farms all across South Africa. Here, the water from three pumps are combined in a reservoir later to be used for irrigation. From left to right you can see a 12-foot air motor, a 10-foot air motor and a 12-foot climax. This bucket has a capacity of 12 litres. At full taps the pumps fill this bucket in one, two, three seconds. That's about 14,000 litres an hour. Each pump works with a reciprocal motion, pumping water only on the upstroke. The combined effort of all three pumps, along with some backed up pressure in the pipes, creates a constant stream of water. This is actually quite dangerous, so don't try this at home. But I climbed up there just to give you an idea of the scale of the machine. Not only is this the oldest windmill on the farm, but it also produces the most water. With a stroke of 320 millimeters and pulling a 150 millimeter cylinder, each stroke brings from the earth nearly 6 liters of water. My dad used to say that an air motor is the Rolls Royce of windmills. This one has been working tirelessly for more than 50 years and upon recent inspection I could barely notice anywhere on the gears and internal mechanisms. In another area of the farm, I combined the water of not only three, but five pumps with remarkably satisfying results. Here, I irrigate right from the source using only the power of the wind.